What's up, Sycamore? Welcome to this episode of Sycamore Junior High's Daily Video Announcements. Today is Wednesday, September 11th. Hello, I'm Cooper. And hello, I'm Liam. Soar Sycamore Junior High with respect, responsibility, safety, and creative problem solving. Thank you for being responsible and showing your creative problem solving today on Patriots Day. As you picked out your red, white, and blue clothing to respect those who lost their lives on 9-11. The flag of the United States is flown at half-staff at the White House on, and on all U.S. government buildings and established throughout the world today. Americans are also encouraged to display flags in and outside their homes. Additionally, a moment of silence is observed to correspond with the attacks beginning at 8.46 a.m. The time the first plane, American Airlines Flight 11, struck the North Tower of the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. Patriot Day is not a federal holiday. Schools and businesses remain open in observance of the occasion, although memorial ceremonies for the 2,977 victims are often held. Volunteer and service opportunities are coordinated by the Corporation for National and Community Service. As we remember those Americans that suffered this terrible act, it is, not, it is time now to be respectful, stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Hello, I'm Casey. And I'm Bobby. As we have been announcing, today is Patriots Day. September 11th is the day that we remember those who lost their lives to terrible acts of terrorism on American soil. Let's take a moment to review what happened that day. What is Patriot Day? Patriot Day, also known as 9-11, is a day recognized every year to remember the lives lost in the terrorist attack of September 11, 2001. People use this day to recognize and give thanks to the brave first responders who put their lives on the line to save civilians caught up in the tragedy. When is Patriot Day? Patriot Day is observed every year on September 11th. What is the history of Patriot Day? On September 11, 2001, a group of 19 terrorists crashed two airplanes into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York. Another plane crashed into the Pentagon building outside of Washington, D.C. The men tried to crash the fourth plane into another building, however, the passengers fought back and the plane crashed into an empty field in Pennsylvania. With around 3,000 deaths between plane passengers, those in the building that were struck, and responders attempting to save people, 9-11 is known as the most catastrophic terrorist attack to ever take place on American soil. Our country has faced many challenges in its history. It seems that with each challenge, our patriotism and care for those around us grows. During this time of crisis, first responders and many other civilians stepped in to help their fellow humans and New Yorkers get to safety. President George W. Bush designated September 11th as Patriot Day, also known as a National Day of Service and Remembrance for the victims of the attacks. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil despicable acts of terror. In the direct aftermath, airplane security became stricter in many countries in an attempt to avoid another terrorist attack. The war on terror commenced immediately after September 11, 2001, with President George W. Bush vowing to stand up to the perpetrators of the attacks. 
How is Patriot Day observed? Use this day as an opportunity to understand the importance of first responders and heroes. Every year on the anniversary of the event, Americans fly the American flag at half-mast and observe a moment of silence for the lives lost. This is honored at 8.46 a.m., the time that the first plane crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. On the 10th anniversary of 9-11, the 9-11 Memorial opened. Many people find comfort in visiting the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. However, there are many memorials that you can walk through to honor the victims in your own private way. If you live close enough to an area where you can attend a ceremony, you can partake in a moment of silence with others and hear stories about people who lost their lives, families, emergency workers, and more. So many people lost their lives that day. So sad that a group would want to hurt innocent civilians or hurt anybody. Yeah, that is super sad. But many students wrote poems to honor these victims. For example, student Tyler Wall wrote, the two towers coll collapsed. America received a terrible blow. The country was mourning. The flags at half mast. Evil looked as though it had a victory. Yet America survived. All she stands for is still high. Her people were hurt, yet they stood through. So really, America was hurt on the inside, not in the heart. And a student from 2001, Diamond Russell, made a poem called Attack on America, and he wrote, Destroyed in the heart of America, we shall stand tall. We're not show, we will, will not show fear, for they have not won. We are the land of the free and the home of the brave. Even though we have been hit but in the heart, they can't take away our strength or dignity. As we walk down the streets of America, as we wear red, white, and blue, just remember, we as a nation Stand tall and strong, for we are America, America forever. If you want to read more quotes like this, Miss Jarvis has copies of the book in her room. You may get a flex pass from her, or you may ask your teacher to see if they still have a copy of the book. Now back to our crew. You are all super amazing. All right, we have some questions like, what's Beach Bash? So, we reached out to the PTO to get some answers. The Beach Bash is this year's student celebration for raising money for us in the classroom, our sports, clubs, and activities. The funds also help us celebrate to get a half day off being with friends. We have less than eight days to go, uh, to go out and make this happen. Go to this site to register. Pledge start dot com slash sycamore junior high now over to a message from our awesome assistant mr Mauf meyer for some incentives if we reach our money raising goals just donate the money when you reach twenty thousand dollars pinky and i here will race miss shunk on the track during recess no bugging major or bragging for the winner when you reach twenty five thousand Pinky's going to unlock field day for you during the beach bash. Don't be the Lulu when it comes to having fun. We just need you and your pookie to send out a link to your family and friends. Now let's make beach bash mad sigma, because honestly, we want to have all the fun too. Right, Pinky? Have a great week, SJH family. Stay safe, respectful, and responsible. Thanks, Mr. Meyer and Pinky the Flamingo. Let's do this, Sycamore Junior High. I sure want to see Miss, Miss Shunk and Mr. Meyer run the track with their flamingos. Okay, students, do, do you know how to check your email? If not, ask a teacher, a staff member, or another knowledgeable student as we mature in adulthood. Email becomes more professional way to communicate, and you should get in the habit of checking it every day. Use your flex belt or study hall to check out information that has been sent to you. By the way, did you get the email from Assistant Principal Mrs. Helms? Share, she shares a video reviewing the PBIS website and Point Reward Store. Okay, next, 
It's clubs and activities time. Art club. Art club will have an informational meeting today, September 11th, after school until 4:15. Meeting dates and the structure of the club will be shared. Please email Miss Heron if you have, or if you're interested in joining, at heronk at sycamoreschools.org. International club. Come join the International Club. The International Club is for everybody who wants to learn and experience different cultures. You don't need to speak a foreign language. The, the most fun part is sampling ethnic foods from different countries. You're guaranteed to get snacks every time. After all, food is the primary part of every culture, right? We play games, make presentations, make crafts, and do other fun things. If you're interested, email Wolford Sensei at wolf Wolford D and at SigmoreSchools.org. Flight crew. Join flight crew to build a school environment where everyone is inspired, feels safe, and leaves fulfilled at the end of the day. We meet Thursdays from 3:15 to 4:15 in room 1261. Email Mr. Rodriguez at rodriguezd at sycamoreschools.org for an application or scan this QR code on the video located on our Aviator Airways SJH News Crew YouTube channel. Power of the Pet. <laughs> Participating in Power of the Pen allows students to express themselves creatively through the power of writing. Being on a team of people you share a passion for writing for is so much fun. I loved being on a team of people who shared my passion of writing just because it made writing in a whole so much better. I absolutely loved Power of the Pen because all of the writing prompts were really fun and creative. Help broaden my creativity in so many different ways. Power of the Pen helps me get outside my creative comfort zone and write about things I'm not really used to writing. I made so many new friends, had so many great experiences, and learned so many new things along the way. A Power of the Pen info session will be next Monday, September 16th from 3.30 to 4.30 in Miss Huff's room room 2212. If you cannot make the meeting but are interested, please email Ms. Huff at huffr at sycamoreschools.org. Now over to Ms. Stein for her special announcement. Hi, Sycamore Junior High. I am Mrs. Stein, one of the choir directors here at our school, and I wanted to personally invite any boy in the school at Sycamore Junior High to our very special group called Boy Choir. Meets on Thursday mornings before school. Boy Choir has been around for over 30 years. Um, it's a really cool environment and a way for you to sing outside of school. You don't have to be a singer. You don't have to audition, but we do need you in the choir room Thursday morning at 7.15. You can get dropped off at the lower bus lot and come directly in the choir room doors, which is door number 24. Um, and we'd love to see lots of you there, um, and we'll tell you more about Boy Choir on Thursday morning. But Thursday morning, 7.15, choir room, come straight to the choir room door. Any boy in the junior high, we'd love to have you. Thanks. Thanks, Ms. Stein. Next up. We have a girls' soccer game shout-out. <coughs> girls have a game today. Beach Brash, prizes this week for grabs in the raffle. Those gig donations. Two Roblox gift cards, one V-Buck gift card, a desktop fridge, a high school sport ticket, and the current balance is at $17,165. I'll send more details on the actual event later this week. If you're interested in joining the math club this year to compete in local and national competitions with other school teams, the first meeting will be on Wednesday, September 18th, after school in Mr. Miles' room. 2204. Meetings will be each Wednesday after school. No need to sign up in advance, just show up. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Miles at milesj at sycamoreschools.org. Next up. Mark your calendars. Spirit Week is quick, qu quickly approaching. 
This Sunday, September 15th, is the high school homecoming parade and community tailgate starting at 4 p.m. at Sycamore High School to kick off Spirit Week. Homecoming Spirit Week activities that we share with the high school students run all next week. Monday, September 16th, is, Mer is America Monday when we all wear red, white, and blue to support America. Tuesday the 17th is Summer versus Winter Olympic Games. Pick your favorite. Dress up for a warm summer day or a cold winter night. Wednesday the 18th, Olympic rings. Wear yellow, blue, red, or green, and then staff wear black. Thursday uh, the 19th, Jersey Day. Wear your favorite jersey from any sport and any team. Friday the 20th, Aves go for gold. It's game day. Wear your green and gold to support the Aves. Um, also next Friday, September 20th, is our Beach Bash. Keep getting donations to reach our $50,000 goal and wear green and gold to go to the game. Get registered and turn in your donations. I definitely want to see Principal Shunk and Assistant Principal Mr. Meyer run with the Flamingos. This year's Ohio Tech Day presented by Meta is on Friday, September 27th. If you are interested in teaming with Ohio on learning tech, email Ms. Jarvis. Next, Next up, up, birthdays. Happy birthday to students celebrating today. John B., Elise D., Ava, Ava S., S., and Adriana G. And staff members, Mr. Miles, Ms. Rambo. Enjoy celebrating your special day. Next, joke of the day. Why couldn't the pony sing? I don't know. Why? He was a little horse. <laughs> that wasn't funny. It was pretty funny. No, it wasn't. It was funny. That's a new slapper, guys. Ah, uh, uh, ha, 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 ha. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Make good choices and learn from your mistakes. And, and go, go Aves! Aves.